Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Undertale. Yay. And I scream in the microphone. Never mind. Let's go. What do we have here? Sars. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally five, uh, 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? You shouldn't go into that business. Yeah, why not? And what's in here? I mean, in every telescope so far, which was one, there was some kind of puzzle. Uh, huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I give you a full refund. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. Uh, no, we don't need to use the box. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Uh, you want to eat me and kill me? No, no, thank you. I'm no star. Oh, I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I have thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, now just 25G. Is it ex more expensive? I don't know. Yes, why not? Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got an ice cream. Why not? We need it. Space. We have space? When do we have space? But never mind. It's the most important thing in a fight. And we don't really have to buy anything else. So why not? And now we have two bucks in the box are playing a three card game. Take a card. Take. You're carrying too much. Okay. Ah, oh, never mind. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. What? What? Okay. That sentence didn't make much of, sen of a sense. What's... What, what place is this? This really looks... This looks really creepy. For some reason. It's a pair of ballet shoes? Will you take it? You're carrying too much. Ah, damn it. Unicycle. Manly bandana. Where did I get that? Interesting. Okay. You equipped manly bandana. Did I unequip something? Ah, old tutu. Okay, I get it. Toy knife. You equipped toy knife. Ah. I can drop it. That's good. You three the uh, toy, kni toy knife on the ground like the piece of trash it is. Wow. That got dark. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yes, of course. You got the ballet shoes. Um, ballet shoes. Weapon attack 7. Okay. I don't really need attack. So I guess I can drop them? You abandoned the ballet shoes. And the Manly Bandana was thrown away. Okay. I don't think I need them, so why the hell do I carry them? I won't hurt anyone in this game. That's my uh, Nindo or something like that. Ring! Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you and you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. So, if I didn't equip that old tutu, she wouldn't have attacked me? Huh. Okay. You walk into Mole Small. No problem. Can just uh, spare them anyway. I really like this kind of fighting system. 
You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. What? Okay. Ah. Same as every time. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Who has that power? And that's a tentacle, right? Well, I've seen enough. You know what? To know where this is going. What? Hey there! Noticed you were here! I'm Onion Sun! Onion Sun, you here? And it's Japanese. You're, you're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's, it's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's, it's, it's my big favorite! Uh, even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey! That's okay! It beats moving to the city! And living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did! Your facial expressions kind of freak me out. And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? And then it's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Oh, hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Well, he's kind of nice. A little bit annoying, but who isn't, really? Whoa. Chiron hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. <laughs> what? Okay. Chiron, uh, tone deep. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Dude. Okay. Chiron hums very faintly. Uh, smile? You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Hum hum. Okay, smells like music. Uh, conduct. You wave your arms vividly. You are now vulnerable to electrical attacks. What? Con conduct. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, lighten or something in jump, I think. I don't know. Um, Shine pretends to be a pop idol. Do I smile? You keep smiling, but nothing happened. Okay. Hum. You hum a funky tune. Shine follows your melody. Sorry, sorry, see me, see me. Shion seems much more comfortable singing alone. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why do I always... Uh, I never have... I don't know. These fights always end in a weird way. But in a really cool way. The northern room hides a great treasure. Okay. Uh... Middle, left, down, right, up. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's as far as my piano uh, abilities go. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I don't know. I don't hear anything. Huh. Hmm. Okay. This, this corner looked suspicious. This power has no uh, counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monsters, co monsters called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb the soul 
But it has never happened. And now it never will. Why not? Well, this sure looks like a boss monster and there wasn't any save point. It's a statue! The structure has, uh, at its feet seem dry. Okay, no boss monster? Please take one. Take an umbrella? Why not? You took an umbrella. And now? Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes, why not? You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Ah. Mitte oben recht. Mitte oben recht. Ah, sorry. <laughs> German again. Uh, middle, top right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, top right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, top right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, top right. I'm, I'm terrible in short term memory, so. Yes, I want to play it. Middle. Top right. Middle, down, down, right. Ah, oh, nice. Wait, I want to play more. <laughs> uh, sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Never mind. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. Dogs? Wait, what? <laughs> annoying dog? What? <laughs> uh, annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Why am I carrying a dog? You deploy the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. What? The artifact is gone. What? What? Just happened? Could I have dropped the dog? I mean, that's really heartless and cold and stuff, but could I have done it? Huh. Oh, I love this music. I don't know what this supposed to be, but never mind. Take an umbrella, yes, why not? You took an umbrella. I think it's better with umbrella. Oh, nice effects. Ah, yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. Uh, oh, okay. What would have happened if I didn't have an umbrella? Man, Undyne is so cool! She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> what? I mean, there are some humans who are into that. That's right, but... Hmm. Hello, over there. Don't want to talk. So, one time. We had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Tremor. Volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. What? Why would she do that? Are the teachers bad to you? Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. She hurt me, right? That's a nice view. Yes. Ah, okay, I can move. And the strange parallax scrolling effect is taking into action, okay. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Nice view and stuff. <laughs> Uh, yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm, 
Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Uh, you want to climb with an umbrella. Okay, okay. Return the umbrella, put back. You return the umbrella. <laughs> okay, that looked wrong. You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh, He's cool. I like him. And we've got to save point. These are perfectly in 50 or 60 minute distance to each other. So I think we will stop this episode now. It's been a pleasure being here and moderating this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like, thumbs up and stuff and subscribe for more. Yeah. And good. Bye. The serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination.